I'm not a huge believer in 360 video, but recently we've had the opportunity to sell a number of houses completely sight unseen, and we've done it using this 360 camera. So without delay, this is going to be my first uh, series of 360 videos. You should, as long as you're using Chrome or a compatible browser, be able to click on the screen, move it around, and see everything floor to ceiling and all the walls. Now I'm using a tripod, an improper tripod here today because I haven't received the proper one. So it's not 100%. We're not going to worry about lighting today or audio, but we're just going to test this at 48 Lantern Hill. So without delay, this is the kitchen. Dishwasher here, we've got a propane range, fireplace which should be propane, and we've got 360 degree views all the way around the house. Over there is the garage, entrance to the side deck there, the deck wraps around the whole corner of the house, and we'll show that later. This would be the formal living room, which is open concept to the kitchen, and you've got all kinds of beautiful panoramic views. I can see the boardwalk. I can see the fishing boats and the buoys. Over here we have restaurants and we've got access to one of the nicest white sandy beaches you're going to find in Prince Edward Island. Standing in the large living room, and by the way this house is vacant for immediate occupancy. Uh, crown molding, again big windows, bench seat, lots of cabinets, and we've got the two-way propane fireplace right there so you can see that from the kitchen and the living room. Main entrance with the front deck, and over there is the laundry room. So we'll check that out next. Now we've got two other videos of this house. I'm going to put the links in the description. One's being created tomorrow. It's a high-end professional video. We'll include some drone footage. And then there's the original video that I did with a, a handy cam. So this is the main floor laundry room. You can walk through as you can see. We've got cabinets running right up to the ceiling. Great spot. Traversing over to the other end of the house, the master bedroom is a very good size. You get a bit of sitting area here, which opens up to the harbor, so you'll be able to see all the wildlife, fishing boats. Oh, they have deep sea fishing tours here as well, and some of the nicest uh, seafood restaurants on the island. Walk in closet over here, and I'll show you the bathroom next. The bathroom sits at the corner of the house at the front, so again, you've got waterfront views here. I can see the boardwalk. Pedestal sink over there if you flip your screen around. Shower cell, toilet, ceramic floors, jacuzzi tub. The common bathroom sits beside the walk-in closet or master bedroom. Uh, sink, toilet, tub, standard issue, really nice tiles. If you want to switch the flip the camera around, you can look at the, the tiles around the uh, bathtub. They're phenomenal. This would be one of the guest bedrooms. It sits at the front of the house or on Lantern Hill. Uh, you can see the double wide driveway it looks in really good shape. And we've got a large. The third bedroom is actually really big. So this would be a great uh, secondary bedroom. It sits at the front of the house and we've got beautiful hardwood floors throughout, especially in the hallway. Now at the bottom of the stairs, we've got two massive rooms here. A utility room behind me, large, super long bathroom at the end of the hallway, and potentially you could have an in-law suite down here. This is one of the large rooms that sits on the waterfront side of the house. Obviously it's been used in some form of an office and a sitting area, which actually is a really decent purpose for someone that works from home. Alternatively, it could be anything, media room, exercise room, uh, living room, rec room, uh, the choice is yours. I found this room, or this entrance, or exit, or whatever you want to look at it as, is very interesting because it could give you the potential to have a separate suite because it's at ground level. I open this door and see a beautiful stone patio, and I'm not sure about zoning, but you have like a ton of room to do a bunch of stuff in this yard. It's almost like a double lot that runs between Lantern Hill and Harbor View Drive, and then there's the boardwalk and the water. This would be the second large room on the waterfront side of the house. Got some beautiful trim, nice flooring, ceiling fan. We've got recessed pot lighting above. And again, we've got 180, 200 degree panoramic water views. This would be the large utility room which sits towards the front or the non waterfront side of the house. And behind this door is a sort of a storage cold room. And then we've got all our electricity and stuff 
uh, cable TV, telephone, high-speed internet, and it looks like a uh, generator hookup. I guess you could call this a cold room. I mean, it is cement walls, cement floor, and it is in fact cold. Our utility panel, we got electricity, generator hookup, telephone, at one time they had satellite. Um, that's about it. Tons of extra spots for more breakers. At the other end of the house, so this would be the west side of the house, we've got an oil-fired uh, boiler uh, for hot water and, and heat. Brand new, or I should say newer, fiberglass tank. Uh, that's the trend these days, is fiberglass. Venmar or air, pump, air recirculation unit. So that's a fan with some filters. And what else do we have? In Florida heating, a number of zone controls, and expansion tank. And that's about it for this side. So now at the opposite end of the house from the stairs, we've got this rather large, super long bathroom with your toilet, shower stall, sink, tons of cabinets on the other side of the camera. Now into the garage. The garage, it's a double door with these stairs here. It's probably more like a garage and a half. I guess it depends on what kind of vehicles you're driving. High ceilings, garage door opener. We got a man door behind this cabinet here. Large window over there. Now outside on the front deck, the uh, the neatest thing here is the the stonework. It's uh, it's pretty cool, and we've got a nice big. Like I said, it feels like a double or a triple lot. And of course, no video is complete with the ability, uh, without the ability to look around 360 degrees. You know who your neighbors are on that side. You've got a vacant lot on this side, and you've got phenomenal views. Restaurants. The beach is just to the left. You can see the sand dunes sort of between those two houses. Now standing on the waterfront side of the deck, the house has a ton of potential as far as adding more decks, pool, geez, you got enough room for a tennis court. Uh, but as you can see, the views are superlative, and we can see sand dunes, we can see the ocean, or more formally the Gulf of St. Lawrence, white sandy beach. And when the snow melts, you're going to be able to see more of that red uh, bank across the harbor. There. 